Guys, I am inviting you to watch so as I discuss with you the topic in determining the indefinite integral of the given exponential functions. Are you ready? Okay. Guys, Okay, we have here the first example. We have the integral of quantity e raised to x plus 2 raised to x, quantity dx. You notice once again we have two terms, so therefore we need to get its separate integral. So we need to come up with the first term. We have here the integral of um, e raised to x dx. The second term, we have the integral of 2 raised to x dx. Then, of course, as we simplify it further here, guys, we all know that e raised to x dx has a value of simply itself. We have e raised to x. Okay? And then, for this second term, the integral of 2 raised to x dx, we simply copy our um, given. So, we have 2 raised to x. Then, from our rule, we need to get the loan of um, the given numerical coefficient or simply the base which is 2 okay and then we have to affix our constant of integration so therefore the integral of e raised to x plus 2 raised to x quantity dx is we have e raised to x plus 2 raised to x all over ln of 2 plus c okay let's have another example our second example here is we have the integral of 3 raised to x plus 1 dx. Okay, as you notice here, what does this mean, guys? Uh, from our exponential form, this means that we have here um, the integral of 3 raised to x times 3 raised to 1 dx. Okay, again, 3 raised to x plus 1 means 3 raised to x times 3 raised to 1. Okay, now, uh, you notice here, guys, that um, we need to um, get the, or extract once again, the numerical coefficient or the constant, that is 3. So, separately write that one. So, we have 3, integral of 3 raised to x dx. Applying our rule, which is the second rule, and that is, of course, we simply copy our... Um, what they call this one, our base. So we have 3, 3 raised to x all over the loan of, of course, the base is 3 plus c. Simplifying it further, so we come up now here with our final answer. It is, therefore, we have 3 times 3 raised to x over loan of 3 plus c. This is now our final answer using our second rule for the exponential function. Next, we have here the third example. Our third example here, guys, is simply uh, the integral of 2 over x dx. Applying our third rule for the exponential function, okay, so we need this time to again separate our constant. Our constant here is simply 2. So we come up now with um, 2, the integral of 1 over x dx. So from our third rule, the integral of 1 over x dx is simply, just copy the numerical coefficient or the constant. So we come up now with 2 ln of the absolute value of x plus c. So this is now our final answer of the integral of 2 over x dx is simply 2. That ends our discussion. Thank you for watching and hoping you have learned something today. Have a nice day and see you again on the next lesson for another exciting and comprehensive discussion of our topic. Thank you guys.